Hello everybody, thank you guys for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about how to add liquidity on the Harmony Network in SushiSwap. Okay, before I can even get to that, in our previous video we covered how we would swap between coins. It's very simple. Okay. However, one thing that we do need to touch up on before I just jump into how to add liquidity is why we add liquidity to decentralized exchanges. All right, so trying to keep this as simple as possible. There are centralized exchanges and there are decentralized exchanges. A centralized exchange is owned by a very large company. Look at Binance, look at KuCoin, look at Huobi. These companies own that exchange and you can go and swap on them because they have large amounts of both Sushi and One in their backend storages. So you can walk up and say, hi, I'd like to give you my sushi and I want some one in return. And they do that for you because they do thousands of those every day and they take a fee off the top, right? However, the issue with those is that your private keys are obviously not yours, it's theirs. Your crypto, when it's on the centralized exchange, technically is not yours, it's theirs until you have it in your own wallet. So decentralized exchanges came out to help people feel more confident in being able to swap their assets cheaply, but there was an issue. Liquidity was the issue. There is no company behind SushiSwap that has thousands and thousands and thousands of sushi and thousands and thousands and thousands, maybe even millions of one, to make sure that when you swap, there's always something left in the back end for when someone else wants to swap after you, okay? It's not just magic. You can't just convert sushi to one. You have to have sushi on the back end and you have to have one on the back end to facilitate the swap successfully. Okay. And so sushi swap incentivizes people to add liquidity, which is 50% value of sushi and a 50% value of one to the liquidity pool. And instead of, like I mentioned, centralized exchanges taking fees off the top, they share those fees that are generated to those providing liquidity. If I were to try and swap sushi right now for one, there is this liquidity provider fee. And this is why you want to add liquidity. This is the general reason why adding liquidity is good. When I make this swap, it's small, but 0.001429 sushi of the total fifth um, of the 0.57 that I have is going to be given as a, as is gonna be taken for me as a fee and given to all of the liquidity providers for the sushi one pool, a pool of both sushi and one. And that's because they allowed this swap to occur because they gave their assets and dedicated them to the exchange. Okay, so now that we've cleared that up, we can go to add liquidity. But before we can add liquidity, we have to make sure that we have an even amount of both assets. Okay, so we have our one and we have our sushi. If I were to do all of this sushi right now, I would be given 50 to one. Okay, so let's maybe do this at a half just to make sure that we can have even amounts of each. So instead of 57, I'm gonna put 27. I know it's not exactly half, but it's close. And I'm gonna swap here. So I'm gonna have more close to an even amount of sushi in one because I wanna add my capital to the liquidity pool for sushi and one. So I need half of the value of one and half of the value of sushi. I'm gonna confirm the swap, confirming. All right, it's gonna be done in probably two seconds, three seconds. There you go, done. Look how fast that was and it costed virtually nothing to do. All right, so let's go to liquidity. I click on liquidity and now you can see if I wanna add liquidity to the pool, I just click add. If I want to remove it, I'd go to this remove tab. I don't have any, so I'm not going to receive anything yet. So I click on liquidity. I click on, excuse me, I click on liquidity. And now it's going to say, okay, you want to put sushi as an input, but what else do you want to put it in? Like I said, one. So I make sure that I have sushi and one. And if I were to click the max amount here, it's going to let me do it. If I want to click the max amount here, it's not gonna let me do it because it's not equal, right? Remember when I said I didn't do the perfect mix? So you gotta find it where it's 
equal value. So if I have 26 1, it will equal roughly 0.29 sushi, and I have 0 0.30 sushi left in my balance, which is perfect. Perfect, perfect, right? I'm going to confirm adding liquidity. And so it's going to tell me, it's going to give me basically a, a share, which is referencing the liquidity of sushi in one. So I'm going to get a sushi one pool token and I'm going to get 2.6489 of them, right? And if you come down here, it shows you I'm depositing 0.29 sushi, I'm depositing 26.761, and my share in the pool is going to be very low, but 0.0009327%. I'm going to confirm supply. It's going to cost, you know, two one-thousandths of a single one, so it costs virtually nothing. Transaction submitted. Beautiful. Okay, and now it shows me my position. So obviously I still have a small pool share. I have 2.646 pool tokens, and this is the amount of sushi that this is worth, and this is the amount of one that this is worth. Keep in mind that when the price of sushi or one goes up and down, this 50-50 balance in the pool may change, which means that I might all of a sudden have less sushi and more one, or more one and less sushi, okay? And that can be seen as impermanent loss. I highly recommend you guys go and look up what permanent loss is to better understand what permanent loss is in regards to a liquidity pool, okay? And so because we have our liquidity now successfully in SushiSwap, we are now able to benefit from when people do conduct swaps. If I were to come here, and like I said earlier, swap, you know, 0 .00, it's not a lot, but if I were to swap this sushi for one, and I click swap, there is the liquidity provider fee, and I will get a portion of this fee relative to my percent in the pool. So I would not get very much at all, but it adds up with time also with how much capital you add to the pool. So that is how you add liquidity. In the next video, I'm going, to come, I'm going to cover how to add those to a farm. But for now, that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.